Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about choline, what it is, what it does, do we need it, uh, especially regarding to vegans. So some studies have shown that the population as a whole is a bit low on choline and vegans tend to be specifically at risk because major sources are meat and eggs. But what do we need choline for? Choline is the primary constituent of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is the most common neurotransmitter in the brain. So if we're trying to produce these neurotransmitters, we need choline. So people that are thinking a lot or doing exercise and using their body more have more of a requirement for acetylcholine and choline. Uh, it's also involved in the nerve transmissions throughout the muscles as well. Now, vegans can get choline in their diet. Good sources are things like broccoli, navy beans and peas. However, if you're not very conscious or planning your diet properly, you could easily fall a bit short on choline. And there are some people that are specifically at risk, mainly due to things like genetics. Now, nutrigenomics is a fairly new science. And what we're finding is that there are many different genes that play different roles in the metabolism and production of nutrients. And with things like choline, depending on your genes, you may be more or less able to absorb it from your diet and your digestive tract. And some people may need more. Now, it turns out many European genotypes require a lot more choline in their diet. So for these people, supplementation with choline, especially if you're vegan, could have a lot of benefit. Now, other people who are drinking alcohol or using other substances, including nootropics like the Rastem family, are gonna have less choline and also require more. So if you're interested in boosting your choline levels, what are your main supplementary options? Now, there are three main options. The cheapest is choline bitartrate. Now, choline bitartrate cannot cross the blood-brain barrier to form acetylcholine, whereas some of the more expensive varieties can. Now, there's two other main choline supplements. Uh, one of them is called alpha-GPC, which can cross the blood-brain barrier and is an effective way of supplementing choline. And there's another one, which is the most expensive, called CDP-choline or Citicholine, which not only crosses the blood-brain barrier, but also produces something called uridine, which can help you repair and rebuild nerve cells. Now, CDP choline, you normally find it in things like organ meats, and that may be why hunters and wild animals will often go for these nutritionally dense organ meats first if they're eating an animal. Now, thankfully for vegans, it is available as a vegan option, as a manufactured supplement, and that's why we've included it in Vegan Power. Um, for me, I first started supplementing with choline bitartrate many years ago. I didn't notice anything, but when I took CDP choline, I noticed a big surge of energy. And I think a lot of people are gonna find when they try this, that CDP choline really helps them with their energy and their concentration and their mood. There have been studies on CDP choline showing it does increase attention memory and all these great things. And it's gonna be especially useful for vegans and, and especially useful for the subset with those genotypes. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you're interested in more about carny nutrients, long-term sustainability of the vegan diet and optimizing your health and vitality, feel free to check out a few more of these videos. See you in a bit.